Hey, welcome to Hebrew from Zero, lesson number six. Today we're going to talk about how to conjugate verbs in the future tense. Just a quick reminder, we're only focusing on the building Pa'al. That's because that's the most useful building and the most common building. Later, we'll learn the other buildings. First, let's look on the pronouns of Hebrew. Ani, that means I. Ani. Anachnu, that means we. Anachnu. At, that means you, female. At, ata, that means you, male. Ata. Atem, that means you, males, plural. Atem, that means you, female. Plural, ten. He, that means she. Don't be confused with the English e. He in Hebrew means she. Who, that means he. Him, that means they, male. Hen, that means they, females. Okay, so you need to know that actually there's two ways to conjugate verbs in the future tense, in the binyan pa'al. Uh, you need to know both ways. Uh, let's start from the first one. Okay, so we'll use the root katav. Katav is the root for writing. So let's go through the pronouns. Ani, ektov. I will write. Anachnu, nichtov. At, tichtevi. Ata tichtov. Atem tichtevu. Aten tichtevu. He tichtov. Hu ichtov. Hem ichtevu. Hen ichtevu. Okay, now we see the second pattern for future tense Binyan Pa'al. Now we'll use the root salach, samech lamed chet, that's the root for forgiveness. Ani eslach, I will forgive. Anachnu nislach, at tislechi, ata tislach, atem tislechu, aten tislechu, hi tislach. Who is lach? Hem is lechu. Hen is lechu. That's it for today. Good luck, guys. Bye bye.